The Nigerian Official Selection Committee for the Academy of Motion Pictures, Arts and Sciences has announced that it will not be submitting a movie for the 2023 Oscars. The chairperson of NOSC, Chinese Anyeni Abuni, expressed regret that the committee would, could not find a film suitable for the award. In a session that lasted two hours, the NOSC recorded a voting chart of eight ratio five and one ratio one from its 15 members with no film is eligible, taking the lead. This is the second year in a row that Nigeria would not be submitting a film for the international feature film category of the Oscars, the last submission being The Milkmaid in 2020. However, she implored filmmakers to get more acquainted with Oscars nominated films in the IFF category to achieve the needed international recognition and put our films in its acclaimed level of creative discourse. Mm -hmm. This is really sad because looking at the Nigerian film industry, yeah, yes. Hollywood precisely, and uh, how much we've improved mm. compared to back then, like yeah. the whole home movie um, era. Yeah. Like we have been, like, lots of Nigerian films on Netflix now and yeah. other streaming land. Like we've really, really grown from where we were to what we are now. Yeah. And it's just sad that we would not still be able to meet up with the criteria needed yeah. for be being a nomination in Oscars. But then did we even uh, follow the rules or the the because like no just, just criteria yeah just, just like in in the Grammys too there are certain things that will give your song credibility to be among nominations and yeah. also I think Nigerian filmmakers need to they need to step up that. I mean just like we we had a conversation I think last week taking yeah. your Leduchi's comments on the um, Nigerian mm. film industry that you know it's having inexperienced people be mm. on the screens. And then um, I came from the angle as to saying, okay, I think maybe in that respect, he might have some truth in it because, I mean, if we're looking at like AFMAG movies, yes. But I mean, I feel like also, just like you said, we've grown from where we were before. Cause like, if you look at, <laughs> if you see like okay, kind of head, movies, the and the you get, <laughs> they will shoot you on the leg, you wrap your head, <laughs> kind of things like that. Yeah. I would say we've improved, but we're still not there yet. There's still a lot of improvement that needs to be done in terms of preparation yeah. and actual filming, pre-production and post-production as well. It's not just the buzz of, oh, okay, now we're on Netflix. That's that's good. That's big. Right? But it's still not... I feel the fact that, okay, we've gotten to Netflix is also, like, covering people's... Yeah, they're just complacent. Like, you okay, get, we've reached the level. Exactly. Now, they feel like, okay, we, oh, we're on Netflix. We're good. But there still needs to be that. I mean... Other Oscar films are like um, Black Panther, right? Mm -hmm. Jesus and the Black Messiah, um, 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 James Bond, right? No yeah, way home. So movies. I mean, Come on. we should see. I mean, look at those <laughs> the budget ones and everything. And Damn. see uh, how Nigerian <laughs> films can almost reach there. So that we also see how I mean, in terms of building the actors and actresses to be good film um, producers, to be good people on yeah. the screen. It's not just, oh, I can read the script. I'm, when people say, well, if I'm in drama club, I can do it. Or ah, I'm dramatic, act. I can do it. It's a lie. I can enter TV. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lie. There's still there's like a lot to it. it. Do you yeah. get, there's a lot that needs to be done. You can't just come and say, okay, well, I can do it. Or I know somebody that knows somebody, I can do it. Let me come and, nah. There's a lot of, there's a lot of, a yeah. lot of background work that needs to be done. Because they would always say that there's a lot that goes on behind that makes you see what's good on screen. Mm -hmm. So there needs to be still... We'll get there, I believe. Okay, get there. And one thing I'm actually looking out for in the Nigerian movie scene is action film, like a superhero film. Like, they've, they've done a couple. Some they've new, done a like, couple, but it's not like really cape and flying. I mean, um, <laughs> um, there was a bit of action in this one with uh, Funke, Funke Akindele. The Mogeto. Yes, Mogeto, okay. yes. Let, let's say, because I mean, in the synopsis, they put action. Action <laughs> movie <laughs> genre. <laughs> <What is that? laughs> I like, I, I mean, I'm trying to just, I, I really need to see how it's going to be like watching a Nigerian action movie, action movie like Spyro and then all this tech and all that. Oh, vigilante kind then, of movie. You know, Iron Man, the whole costume and everything. Now we've not gotten there. It will take us a while. <gasps> we've not gotten there just yet. I uh, think they're still focusing on all them, you know, contemporary cultural stuff. You know, but uh, before they will get to like Mission Impossible kind of tech, mm. where um, mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, this will be jumping from window, this will be jumping fast and furious. Kind of, uh. oh, they also, uh, <laughs> um, 
and what they call that in the effects or whatever they do that mm. makes the whole green screen look so real. Yeah. Like, I don't know how long it will take us to get there, but I really hope we can get there because we there's can. a lot that we have to offer. It's just we need so much exposure and a lot to learn from those that are far better than us. Definitely. And it's moving on now. Dami Crane has requested that Davido pay him his contribution on his single, Weary. Dami Crane took to his Twitter account to demand that Davido pay him for co-writing the hook of his single, Piri, which features American group Ray Swermod and rapper Young Thug. Dami Crane claimed he has reached out over split sheets and outstanding payments, but got no response, which invariably led to the tweets. This is another person demanding his accolades, demanding yeah. to get his flowers given to him over um, credit that he deserves yeah. that wasn't given to him. This is the same thing that was happening with them. Is this Sam Clef and then Banky W on the whole Whiskey Superstar album and all? And it just seems like all these things should have been settled Prior, privately right? or pri yeah. And how come this is lingering? We don't have a head recently from Dami Crane. Mm. Yeah, but then. <laughs> I mean, but just then. like I was saying earlier, this this it feels like this is a recurring this is a recurring situation in yeah, you know the space, scene, right? Yeah. Yesterday was it was Kataefe and um, Berry Tigaba yeah. Machala. I'm like, what happened? If like this, it's not even hard. I don't believe it should be this hard or complicated for you to have to come on social media and start making a scene over what should and could have been settled. Yeah, like prior this is a professional. Do you get out. have paper? Put a pen to paper and let me have your word for it that this is what I'm entitled to. These are my yeah. royalties. This is what I'm supposed to do. Even if friendship or you are a big star or whatnot, <laughs> please, let's have a What's contract. What's should be done? Because let's have a contract. At the end of the day, now it looks like a save. You just want to use the person and mm -hmm. get rid of the person after you've gotten whatever uh, value you get from them. I mean, it's been long since Query. You know, Query is very, very like. It's been and he just, he's just bringing it up years. now. Yeah, and I don't know if Davido is actually uh, guilty of this accusation. I don't know if whatever thing has been done. I don't know how true this is because yeah. we hear from Davido's side. Obviously, he's going to respond or do the needful, but then. This thing should not be happening. Like after after you um, you get some certain uh, work done by someone for you, mm -hmm. like just do the needful and sort out the whole uh, payments necessary and all. But then yeah. we are, we've also always known that um, not all artists or musicians or singers write their songs. Yeah. Yeah. So in most American songs, yeah, they always have the credits like written by this person, written there. Like everybody yeah, knows, like most of most of the songs that Sia has written for other international acts, they always put her like written by Sia, mm -hmm. even yeah. though it's not her name that's on the song, like the owner of the song. So yeah. if you can actually just let him have that credit there, let it be there, let people know that he's actually the writer of the song and let him at least get some form of recognition that he feels. Yes. Just Indeed. like um, something someone told me that I totally agree with is maybe sometimes these musicians are not exactly great at business. Maybe mm. all they know is just their song and their music and writing. So they might not exactly know the ropes of how to deal the, in the business of music, yeah. right? So they should definitely get like proper representation. So if I know that I just want to write a song for you, then I probably should have like a representation that yeah. would let me know what I'm entitled to mm -hmm. and let me know what my options are. So I also know my rights. It's not like somebody's just going to come and play with me or because this person is a big shot in, you know, the social space, yeah. I will just give in like and a favor. Do you get you you tell some... me that I'll pay you, I'll pay you with products. Oh, oh God. don't I'll put you in the video. Just... <laughs> you get you'll be in my video or something is a it privilege and stuff like that. Nah, let me let me know my entitlements. Let me be properly represented. If I don't know how to handle the business of it, then let me get somebody yeah. to do that for me. I get my money at the Quebec. Are you a David Doe fan? <laughs> I, I mean, I'm, his, his, his music is good. I'm not, I'm not like all them whiskey versus. Oh, you're not in any FC. I do not used to, I don't like to ah, fight. Ah, wow. Your okay. music is good, your music is good. I like it, that's fine. I'm not, it's not, it's not a competition. Well, personality wise, David Doe as a person. He's, 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 your... he's okay. He has no, I have no problem with him. He has not vexed you. He has not vexed me yet. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, okay. so far, so far. I don't have any any preference, problem. Like, yeah, I don't have a problem or preference. Oh. If your music is good, your music is still right. Um, well, Dami Crane said, can you remember any song from Dami Crane? Mm. What from, which song is that? Legal, legal, you. Now you said remember, is mm. it that I remember? <laughs> <laughs> you don't tell Dami. It's been a while. <laughs> 
Please come back. Work. We miss you. We you miss should just use this energy to just go back and mm -hmm. bring a hit song. Then maybe we would, we would know what's up. Yeah, no. Let's let's feel your your ginger again. We have missed you. Moving on now, rave of the moment, Asha Kerr took to his social media to tease a new track which has generated both shock and excitement from fans. The teaser was posted on Sunday and it comes as a surprise as Asha Kerr released his debut album, Mr. Money with the Vibe, on September the 8th, 2022, which was just 10 days ago. The teaser was met with both excitement and surprise by fans, many of whom expected that Asha Kerr would take his foot off the pedal after realizing releasing successive hit songs and topping it with his record-breaking debut album. The teaser indicates a collaboration between Tiwa Savage and Ashake. Hello, Demi Ashake. Hey, Mr. Money. Hey. With, hey, Mr. Money, you know, they waste time. This nah, guy I think, is, I think, no, he, hmm. he's been, he's been keeping true to everything hmm. that he probably wants to do because yeah. he's been bringing hits this after hit after hit. First. I've not and seen someone that's been this back to back. Right? Yeah, dropping and so consistent. Hits. Nah, yeah. he's doing great. He's doing great. Um, and I also, I also, I mean, learned that he's not just, apart from like being a musician, he's also like a hustler because he had been mm. working towards this like music thing for a while. Like, I used to do skits. Uh, yeah. Hey, right? You know, backup singing, skits. So in, I think he had harnessed this, you know, dream or vision of his and went through his own process yeah. and realized that, okay, he probably needed to work his way through and then now that he's there he's like just like you said he's not he's not <laughs> present he's actually setting break, right wow he's setting standards because now people will be on his matter like okay mm. this is how you're starting let's see how long you can you keep can up keep with this can right? you keep giving us bangers back to back like this we will not pray on him let's not pray on him can't do it because he can't do it <laughs> if you should just step back a bit it's going to be like uh, okay, Mr. Money, we're waiting for you. I know, Ashake. but I mean, even the reactions that people said, they're like, uh-uh, back to back, they were like, ah, Whiskey is no longer dragging first position, like on the... Um, yeah, Ashake is literally right? dragging with himself. First, it's just it's <laughs> him and him and him, yeah. right? And now nah, he's, he's, I'm definitely expecting like, you know, Hmm. More albums to drop very talk, soon. Be killer, killer. <laughs> <laughs> Even if he's he's uh, what's it called? His beats and everything are the same thing. I feel I feel like he still finds his way to create something yeah. new, mm -hmm. you know. And it is something that everybody is also trying to like. It's something everybody is relating to. Something everybody is vibing to. Everybody's yeah. looking like and the way he it. infuses Yoruba language into his songs, it makes you want to learn it. Like, oh. what exactly does this mean? Like, it sounds so <laughs> nice. Like, what does this mean? I want to know. I want to know what he's saying. And he's just making the whole um, African or traditional uh, languages that we have in Nigeria so mm -hmm. um, interested. Interesting. Yeah. Like, it makes people want to know more about our language, our culture, and what it means. Because mm -hmm. if you listen to some of his songs, like this this particular one, where he said, um, pardon me, also, I no, okay, I don't understand you, but, <laughs> say, but there's a part where he said something that I I have asked around and they interpreted it to mean that, let my friends enjoy now, like it's our time. To oh. Like It's like he's rooting for his people, those that have pushed him up to where he is, and mm. it's just so nice because, I just love someone that is a is a people helper. You know, mm -hmm. when you're at the top, you don't feel so alone because you have your people around, around you too. You. So the whole uh, we we rise by lifting others, others yeah. is like mm, all the, what this guy is about.